fuck, boy? And he didn't even bring me a baby. Fuck you, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her out there sitting in the chair. Hey, look at her. Look at these boys right here. Look at it. Look at it right here. He's been in the mountains since oh, hey. November, October. November 2nd. I've been up almost four months, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Hey, hit hey. up. Hey. Hey. Four months. God almighty, son. Come back. Come back to society and have to look at Bruce. <laughs> hey, hey, you come back to society and have to look at Bruce. <laughs> Well, children, we did it. <laughs> we did it. A little over three and a half months. Nearly four months. Along in Appalachian area. During the winter months. Unreal. Now I know... The shine shed is a far cry from the trap shed. But I'm glad to be back home. Things that I took for granted, something simple as a light switch or hot running water. Flip of the switch, you've got heat. Warm days, you've got nice cool air. I look at things different now. Things have changed. You know your life can change in the blink of an eye. Or the good or the bad. Imagine about three and a half months. Why? I lost 52 pounds while I was off grid. It wasn't for the lack of food or worry. You see, out there, you worry about things that you need. In society, you worry about needless things. That's true. Nevertheless, I left that mountain without regret. Knowing that I gave everything that I could. And done all that I could. Done exactly what I said I'd do, and I'm satisfied, and I hope you are too. But I'm glad to be home. Back to neighbor's dogs barking, and telephone ringing, and a blaring television, car horns, seeing everyday common folk. Up there, I'd get excited if I saw the pot belly pig or the two little beagles. Time to time, come check up on me. <laughs> I'd give them a little bite of food every once in a while, sneak them a little something. They didn't come up often, but it was good when they did. But this experience has forevermore changed my outlook, my mindset.
I'll carry these experiences with me as long as I keep my right mind about me. Now, I logged everything. I wrote everything down. Even something just seemed so menial. That I thought someday might be important. I tried to use words and phrases and comparisons to help you understand how it was that very moment, that very day. But to be honest, I don't know if I've, I've done it justice or not. Hard to describe those things. Hard to describe feelings. Easy to describe weather or anger or sadness, but there's things that you feel that sometimes you just can't describe. And I had a lot of those days. I had to adjust up there. I had to seek out a routine. Stay busy. Here I have to adjust now. I still wake up at 3.15. What for? I don't know. Maybe defeat the far that I don't have here. The dragon. The meal master. But oh, what an experience it has been. Even in the last days, being off grid, I had a lot of firsts. <laughs> Seemed like I had firsts from the beginning of the season. The bear and the snare set it all ablaze. And from there on out, it was a day after day, something new, something surprising, something off the wall. Now, I know these videos get lengthy and a lot of chatter. But it is what it is. And I appreciate you for coming along with me. Now, more coyotes, more beavers, and more otters. Hmm? Ended up with 15 coyotes. Now, what about the numbers? But I ended up with 15. That's 15 that's not going to take farmer's chickens or the new calf that was just born. Ended up with 19 beaver, 11 of which came off Lester's property. That's 11. Now, I know I'm not going to wipe out the beaver. I'm not foolish. But that's 11 beaver that's not going to be chewing on his apple trees, his walnut trees, and his land. I made a friend there. Here's Lester. Oh, there you are. I sure have. <laughs> he ain't about 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, yeah. This is my buddy Lester. This I, is helped. One I that, hope uh, I helped. I felt like I helped. We have a little bit of beaver issue. Uh, lost a lot of land. Now he's got plans. But uh, we've been working on it. To we? try to help yeah. solve that problem. Now how about the otter? <laughs> I've never seen an otter before in my life till this no, season. I'm all about more. In the wild. I'm not sure I've seen them on TV. Decent. Seen them when you're that close to me. In videos. You do, you know. But to actually lay eyes on an otter, no. You break. Caught my first otter. Saw another one. But he was smart. Yeah. Went to check the traps. And there he was in a trap. Looked over in another trap. About five or six feet away from him. There was another one, so I caught doubles underwater uh, on the otter. Two otters. Doubles. <laughs> Boom, baby. I had like a full blown you know minute. Another otter. I, know I was like happy. Man. Worked so hard. When you work so hard, I walked that railroad track day after day. I've worked so hard, man. Everything that I tried to set out to do 
I feel like I accomplished. I'm still waiting on the network. Casting's waiting on the network. I've got Zoom meetings coming. More ideas, more plans. I'm going to take y'all on the Hensley Settlement Tour. Get that out of my system. I haven't been to the Hensley Settlement since I had the foot repaired. And we're growing us a garden, children. I'm going to take you along with me from, from the first shovel of manure to the last can of beans put away. I want to live while I'm living. I don't want to be behind these walls very often, very much. Now, I am trying to catch up on live streams that my friends are having, comments that people sent me, and texts. I'm trying to catch up. I am a little, little at a time. It's going to take me a while. I'll get there. I'll get this mess cleaned up that I've made, left behind. Going through stuff, trying to find equipment. I'll get all this cleaned up. Pulled traps today and got them put away. Got them sprayed off and got them put away. We've got work to do. We're a far cry from being done. We most certainly are. And I hope you follow along with me. Don't leave me. It may not always be an epic adventure but it'll be real I've tried my best to keep it real what an experience if I would left that mountain I'd have hated myself the rest of my life probably but I'm sure glad I'm home now don't ever know I may go back sometime I may never go back One thing for sure, I'll never forget it, as long as I'm able to keep my right mind. And I want you to know I appreciate all you all. And I'll catch up, I'll catch up, videos and comments, texts. But I love you all and appreciate you. It's your boy, String Bean. May whack on your guitar a while. Get caught up. I appreciate you. As always, go farther, stay longer. Thanks for watching. Look how freaking big, man. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that, how big that is. Must have happened last night, I still got poo poo on him. Poo poo! That's him. That's him. That's him. That's the big boy. Stay with me, let's get him out of the trap. I'm taking that trap out of here. That trap's gotta go back to Lester's. I've got five days to put a hurt on him. Beaver. But let's check this other trap out real quick. Why not? We may have, shoot, we may have a beaver or something. We may have a purple rhinoceros or something. Are you serious? There is no possible way upon this planet. There is no possible way upon this planet. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I never walked over here. Uh -uh. 
No. No, baby. Let's see what we got. I believe it's otter number three. <laughs> Boom. I think it's otter. That's otter. Otter number three. Otter number three. Otter number three. Same set. Rubber fish. One bar set. He's ram wrecked this thing. Otter number three, baby, for the season. Ooh, ooh, five days left. I got a trap right there. I'm gonna take these two traps. I didn't bring my harness. I can pull it. I can pull it. I can pull it. I can pull it. I'll pack them out there and get my cart. I can pull it. Stay with me just a minute. Let this camera go. Shoot, man. Shoot, man. I didn't bring a multi-tool, didn't bring a tool, didn't bring nothing, man. Everything I've got, sorry about the camera deal. Everything that I've got, no way back. I hope camera don't fall over. Everything that I've got, I left up here. Uh, I normally carry a multi-tool, but I've been working. The list was late in the evening. Got a lot of work to do today. Uh, Two otters, doubles, doubles, doubles. Do you hear me? Do you hear me over there? I'm doubles. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get him out. Get him out. I ain't going over. This one be I'm tough because this is deep. And, uh, there's no freaking way, man. There's no freaking way, man. Ooh. Doubles on otters, man. I came up here late yesterday. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't go into the pond. I didn't want to go into the pond. I didn't want to turn this net. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god! I got one! Doubles, baby. Yeah. Hey, same song, second verse. And it was my wife's idea. Why don't you just put some rubber fish on them triggers? Doubles on otters. Doubles on. Do you hear what I'm saying? Fifty-two year old. Never seen an otter. In the wild, I saw one yesterday at Lester's. I'll admit, but uh, never seen an otter in the wild. 52 year old, 52 year old, got doubles. I thought I might have had a beaver. First thing I thought that's babe, that's probably beaver. I saw it tail and I was like, ain't no way, brother. Ain't no way. Give me just a minute. This season. This season has been beyond epic for me. On nearly four months spent off-grid. Caught coyote, bobcat, skunk, snared a bear. Uh, fox, raccoon, beaver. I got 18 beaver. And y'all know I'm not a beaver trapper. Uh, never seen otter before in a while. Until I walked up that trail right there to the pond. And I seen two. I got a video. 
He swam right, right toward me. Caught one the second day I set the trap. Saw the otter, about three days, four days later, had him. Come up here this morning, set of doubles. Set of doubles. It wasn't happenstance. It wasn't luck. Baby, let me go get my other otter. I know I'm acting like a nut, man. I worked so hard. I worked so hard, man. I love you guys, man. This, this is an epic day, man. I just saw the guy that stopped the pond yesterday. And uh, he didn't know I was up here. Uh, I caught the first otter. That's the band. Y'all need to tell Robert he owes me a sausage egg cheese biscuit without the cheese. A sausage egg biscuit. I flagged him down yesterday. And he, he didn't know who it was. And he said, I didn't know who he was. I said, yeah, I said, I, I, said uh, I caught that one otter. He said, man, get them all. He said, I'm gonna stock that pond so bad and fish. Uh, and uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I've lost 45 pounds, children. 45 pounds. I've lived off the land. Bathed in a plastic tub, heated my water on a wood stove. Nearly four months off grid. Never seen an otter before in my life. Till this year. Caught the first one. Knew there was another one in here. Say there's more. Say there's more. I'll be here until the. I didn't bring nothing to do no resets. All I, all I had to eat was uh, setters. What I'll do, what I'll do is I'll get these otter out. I'll hide my traps. I'll come up here tomorrow, do the same song, second verse. Rubber fish on both of them, look. Look. Rubber fish on both of them. Relation. Seems like to me you could put some rubber fish on them triggers, they'd go after it and hit fire. She was right. It worked. Yeah, rubber fish on both of them. They can't come off. Single pole stick. I knew they were using this. I can't believe it's two otters. Doubles. I love you guys. I gotta get these things out. I'm gonna hide these traps. I'm gonna put these traps back in here. I'm gonna put it because uh, I've got foot holes. I've got a 330s. Got Lester's. We're doing good up there. Uh, I'm gonna come back in the morning. And reset these and uh, till the end of the season. Same song, second verse. Don't, don't, if it works, don't change it. If it works, don't change it. They didn't want nothing to do with them fillets over there. That one did the first day. But after that, they didn't want nothing to do with them. That's got a spot of white on his nose, that does. Boom, baby, my season has been made. Now, if I can help my buddy Lester, I feel like I've accomplished something. Nearly four months off grid. 
I'm, I'm down 45 pounds, nearly 45 pounds. I've caught everything you could imagine to catch about. Everything that we have here in this state. All but a mink. What a season. What a season. Five days left. We got work to do. Love you guys. Oh, baby, devil's on the orders. Hey, <laughs> look at there. I'm glad to see that thing today, especially. Let's get out of here. That's what I call happy load, man. Underwater doubles. They wasn't five feet apart from each other. Maybe six, maybe. I came up here late yesterday. Look, there was nothing. I told Renee, I said, I sure would like to have that one otter. He was big, but he's smart. And I said, I made a video on the way up. I said, well, his education and my ignorance. I said, I won't catch him. He's too short. Don't underestimate yourself, children. I'm world's worst for it. I'm world's worst for it. Don't underestimate yourself. Anything that you do. If you'd have told me I'd have Lived in the Appalachian Mountains during the winter months off grid. There's been no way. I don't know how tough it is. Let's get these out of here. It's getting hot. Things supposed to be about 70 today. Whew. Doubles underwater. Otter. Ooh, ooh. So, let me show you something. Where's my harness? My big blue harness. In the side of the side, right there in the corner. Here's Lester. Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey. He ain't about six four or six five. Yeah. This is my buddy Lester. This is the one that uh, we have a little bit of beaver issue. Uh, lost a lot of land, but uh, we've been working on it, ain't we, Lester? Yeah. Between, yes. between Lester and me, we, we're trying to hew them down just a little bit. Look what we got this morning. But his tail is awful small for his body. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's a big one. Look there, son. That trap, absolutely. He, he must have he must have barreled through that trap. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to think of which way he was going. I, I really didn't pay no attention why he had the trigger set. But but it looked like to me he was going he was going through. You think he was? Yeah, he may have been. He, he he got through quite a bit. Uh son, uh you gonna have to quit smoking, chewing becker. Losing your teeth. Thing you want to say, Lester? I just, uh, I'm just thankful for Roll. That's my buddy. Didn't know, uh, didn't know I had all these beavers. But when they started eating my apple trees, I was afraid they was going to get in my walnut trees. And, but anyway, uh, the day before Roland come up, I, I Come down to see if I could get rid of some more beavers, and he called. And thank the Lord, we here we done pretty good with them. He's done real good with them. He sure, sure been a blessing to me. Sure been a blessing to me. Sure has. My buddy Lester. Hey, we're not done yet. We got let's see. I got a bunch of resets to do. We got a few traps still stuck. Gotta get them out. 
that water was all this was all flooded just how many days ago was it yeah, about two days ago. about two days ago this was all underwater so you can imagine but uh i've got about four traps i've got to reset well number five i guess with him and uh Got to get four out. I can't, there's four of them I can't get to. Can't see, can't get to still. But uh, we've got about, well, tonight to make seven. Seven nights in traps will be set, you know. I mean, till the end of the season, we got about seven days. So maybe, just maybe. I believe this makes number 10, though. But his tail, man, his tail just don't look right with the rest of him, does No, it? his tail's. Not neither compared to his body. He's a <laughs> he kind of he, he kind of built like I am. <laughs> Short and potty, <laughs> a little butt and a lot of body. Come on, that's coming from the corner up here down the hill uh, where I caught two coats and drags up there. I caught three down here, one out yonder. And I said, 14 coyotes. So close to closing time. I'd like to have one more coyote. Just make it 15. We got 15. Stay with me. See what we got. Right in that rosy brower bush that I, I love so well. You know, rosy brower bush, you know what I'm talking about. Where is that? I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Jump, skip, jump. Jump, skip, hop. He's the teacher of the world up here, sure, bud. Look here. Jump, skip, hop. Yeah, that's a rough one, man. That's a rough looking dude right there. He ain't going nowhere, bud. You tore, he's tore this rosy. Well, I'm glad you did that, but that, he, yeah, yeah look, look at that back. That back is looks, yeah, yeah. That's a real fucking dude right there, man, for sure. You ain't going nowhere, man. Coyote 15. On about ten acres. Yeah, there's a there's a hundred acres here. But I don't trap a hundred acres. I trap ten acres out there. <laughs> Two fields. Go way in. That's it. Not too bad. Pull fifteen out of here. He's not caught good either. No. He, she, whatever it is. Man, that's a nasty looking bugger, buddy. Look at that. Yeah. Well, it's about closing time. Uh, appreciate you all. Say cheese, Hildegard. Hildegard, but you're not smiling. Got old black and lamb. Uh, female, uh, but uh, not a bad cat. She bent the dog pretty bad, but you know, preference is preference. I don't care if you use a. Uh, shoestring and a rubber band if you're catching coyotes that's the whole purpose of it uh, but i tap out every year on bobcat every year uh, and i'm no professional I'm not, not trying to sound like a professional but uh there's two things i can catch there's two things i can for sure catch and that's most definitely a possum and bobcat. Don't know.
my wife. Uh, that was one of the first animals I ever caught. It's a bobcat. And they're on out. It's been tap out every year. Uh, and I'm not saying it boastfully. But I like bacon lamb. They're small, compact, and uh, they're soft. They're just, they're just, they're just soft to the touch when they, when they touch that pan. Hey, it's there. You don't gotta have a friggin' tank to catch a coyote. No. Mm -mm. Probably the first three years of my trapping, I used a uh, one and three quarter, one and a half. That's all I had. That's all I could afford. We got traps check. Let's go. Oh no. No, look here. Hey, look here. Digging away, ain't you, buddy? Coyotes. 14, I believe. Don't be like Trapper Trav over here talking. Do a little more killing and a lot of less talking. Just say it out here. Uh, been hit a couple times, but you know, let's see what we got. I hear something digging out here. I thought it was tracing through the woods, but nope. Yeah, coyotes, a brown coyote. Nothing special. Here, ah, oh, my, you tore up the world, Junior. You? you ain't going to worry about it. You ain't going to worry about it. Yeah. What a big catch right there. His toe was right on that, pa that uh, pan. This whole set right here, I'm telling you, it's absolutely, uh, it's just a natural set. Natural cubby for me, I mean, you know. Uh, obviously. Guard hairs, ain't got no guard hairs. Very little, very little short guard hairs. But, uh, I put me a, Chicken or whatever I can come up with, whatever I got, bait. I throw it in the in the hole. And, I mean, it's just all natural. As you can see, this tree has seen some action. Uh, it could have been a coon I caught that got away. Uh, I got to look at some of the damage on the other trees, and it could have been a coon, you know, that that done. The majority of that up to there, the coons are pretty rapid. But now, whether it's a coon or a bobcat, whatever it was, it got away. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Nevertheless, 
another one out of the out of the pack. Uh, oh, where's my buddy's cattle? It's right there where the greenery is. Uh, and uh, had a cow, just a calf here, just I believe she did, just a, a few days ago. So, I mean. About a coat, 14. I believe it's 14. I'd have to look. I believe it's 14. But uh, it's no brown coat. Stay with me, children. Let's get this took care of and see what we got. Hey! Stay with me just a minute. Uh, let's see what we got. Man, it looks like a odd colored looking coat, too. He just drag on the corner. Remember? Drag. I talk about it quite often. What do you Uh, it's just a regular old coat. Yeah. Ain't nothing special about you, bro. Full pad catch. I think that's an MB. Can go nowhere. Huh. No, it's, 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 it's Jasper ain't going nowhere. Uh, he's he's full on man. Look at that. He's sunk plumb up to the pad, to the pan. So he ain't going nowhere. He got my drag. Where's my drag at, dude? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Man, look at him eyes. He's pretty though. Uh, I changed it up. You can go over. I changed that up and put a uh, few more feathers in there. He didn't even get them. Didn't even. But a friend of mine was uh, goose hunting, and uh, he didn't get a thing, man. That second one, that other one, if you remember, made it. That was the one that had the pile missing. Made it to there. So. Let's see. I don't know, I'd have to count. Five or six in drags. Are you a drag queen or a drag king? Let's see. You ain't gonna worry about it. You gonna worry about it. You ain't gonna worry about it. Man, that's a good looking dog. Look at the guard hairs. The guard hairs are just pitiful. Look at those eyes. Yeah. So, uh... Let's try to help the farmers, man. Get them out and do a reset. He's light-colored, though. He's not old. He's nothing special, but... He's, uh, he's got this, look here. He's been all down that through here. Got that tree, round, way up through there. Back up and around, over. All the way up, all the way up through there. Dang, you know, son, you have tore the world up. What? Girl, where you are. Let's see what you are. Let's see here. Let's see, I think it's female. I think it's female. More out in your way. Nevertheless, uh, that's six. Yeah, I had three down there. One made the rosy bar bush. One didn't make it to the rosy bar bush. One didn't get anywhere. I had one pile here, and I had one in the field next to the jabone. The jabone. Look at him. That's six. That's six in track. Yeah. Get that Jasper took care of and get out of here. Uh, I gotta go to the river. 
possibly have to get in the river today. Uh, traps. 23 or 24 traps under 11 foot of raging water. Yeah. But I uh, contacted Lester yesterday. He said today he'd be able to get in there. So I'll get him out, her out, get out. Pronouns, boy. I'll get he, she out. And do a reset. Didn't get anything. Didn't get a thing, man. And uh, Dan Davis, there's a beaver foot in there. Just so you know. I tried to listen and take instruction. Huh? So... Beautiful day. What a day. This is coyote. 13. Not about the numbers. About being off grid, living off the land. Uh, a survival situation. Uh, that would be food. That would be... That would keep me another day or so. We may have more. Let's go find out. Quit rambling. I'll shut up. Okay, guy. And uh, tonight I'll be spending the first night in my bed since November 12th. That's the day I came up here. You know, I can hear the dogs barking down in the valley. Hear the train as it goes by. Two little beagles find me every once in a while up here. That makes me to know that I'm still too close. Not deep enough in the mountains. Never know, maybe next season I'll be even deeper. But I'll finish the season from home. Got about 10 days left. And uh, past couple of weeks I've been working on some things. There's some things in the works. And I hope you stick around and stay with me. This has been more than a journey. This was life changing. It truly was. I'm going to miss the wildlife, the deers that come by, the horses. Not three or four owls that come through at night, talk to one another, lay in the bed and listen to them. I'm going to miss that. Nevertheless, this is your boy String Bean. Alone in Appalachia out here in the hills of Kentucky. Go farther, stay longer. I'll catch you out there somewhere. Maybe on that ridge right there in that holler. See that little holler right there? Tip of my finger is that's a holler right there. There's somebody living in that holler, I'm sure. Thanks for watching.